Hi everyone, Ethan here with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're just going to be reviewing basic edits, cuts and trims within our timeline. We've already gone over adding our in and out points in our source monitor and adding clips that way. Uh, but today we're just going to go over more or less fine tuning these clips within our timeline. So we already have a clip in our timeline, Jordan Pond, as you can see. What I want to do is I want to trim or cut this clip down. So before we start, we want to make sure that our snapping is on and that's keyboard shortcut S, or you can always click on this magnet icon in the top left of our timeline panel. I also wanna make sure that linked selection is on because I wanna be cutting the audio and the video at the same time. And we're gonna start out with the most basic way to cut down footage. So I'm gonna drag my playhead to where I want to cut the actual beginning part of this clip. And as you can see, I have the selection tool activated and that's keyboard shortcut V. And if I hover at the beginning of this clip, you'll notice that it turns from a cursor to a red bar with an arrow pointing to the right. That means I'm going to be able to click and I'm going to be able to drag it to the playhead and since we have snapping on it's going to snap directly to that playhead. From there we can always just click and drag this clip over that way we don't have any blank spots at the beginning of our timeline. Now that's a very basic way to start cutting down and trimming your footage however it could be time consuming so I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step in cutting down your footage. We'll just drag our playhead over to where I want to make this next cut and remember Remember you can use the arrows on your keyboard to move a frame at a time. If you hold in shift and use the right arrow, it's going to move five frames at a time and vice versa. If you use shift and use the left arrow, you can move backwards five frames at a time. So I'm going to go over to our tools to the left of the timeline and I'm going to click on the razor tool, which is keyboard shortcut C. I like to remember C for cut. It makes it fairly simple and we have snapping activated. So I'm going to cut exactly where this playhead is. And as you can see, it's kind of snapping to the location of that playhead. And I'm just going to click on the Jordan pond clip. From there, we can return back to our selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and we can select that second half of the clip that was cut off from the first half, and I'm gonna hit delete on the keyboard. Now I wanna kinda zoom in on my timeline here, so I can use the zoom slider down here at the bottom of the timeline, or I can just hit plus on the keyboard and it's gonna zoom in on my timeline as well. Now if I wanna jump back to the first part of my first edit or cut, I'm just gonna hit up on the keyboard and it's gonna jump back to my latest edit. I'm gonna press spacebar on the keyboard to play and get a preview. And as you can see, we have cut down our first clip in our timeline. Now I wanna show you one or two more ways to make things a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna add three more clips here. I'm just gonna to go to my project panel and go into my footage selecting Mount Greylock Cabin, holding in shift and clicking on Vermont Falls. And that's gonna select all three of these clips. I'm just gonna click and drag these over to my timeline. Now to zoom out on my timeline, I can just hit minus on the keyboard and that's gonna zoom out. We have the full clips of Mount Greylock Cabin and Peak. And we've already cut Vermont Falls down in our source monitor with in and out points. So I'm just gonna hover over the right side of that clip and I'm going to extend it. So I can show you a few other ways to cut down these clips. So let's go ahead and play this clip, Mount Greylock Cabin, and I'm gonna set markers on the clip to where I wanna edit it down to. And I'm gonna start this clip here. So I have the clip selected, and I'm just gonna hit M on the keyboard. This is gonna add a marker, as you can see, right on that clip, so I know where I wanna cut it down to. And I wanna end it right about here. So I have the clip selected. I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard so I can add another marker. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our Ripple Edit tool. This is keyboard shortcut B. And as you can see, as I hover over the beginning of the clip, my cursor turns into a yellow bar with an arrow pointing to the right. Now all I'm gonna do, making sure that snap is still on, is I'm gonna click and drag to that first marker and it's gonna snap to that first marker. It ripple deletes and closes any gaps that might be left. Similarly, if I hover over the end of the clip, it shows that arrow pointing to the left so I can then click and drag to that marker where it's gonna snap into place and it's gonna close any leftover gaps. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit V on the keyboard so I can return back to my selection tool. All right, the same thing as last time, I'm gonna select my clip, I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard, adding that marker to the clip so I know where I wanna cut it down to. And instead of using the ripple edit tool this time or the cut tool or clicking and dragging, all I'm gonna do is hit Q on the keyboard and that's actually gonna cut everything before the playhead on this clip. This is what we like to call top and tail editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So once again, if I hit Q on the keyboard, it's gonna cut everything before the playhead on the clip I have selected. And I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard to add another marker. 
And this time, instead of hitting Q, because I want to delete everything after the playhead in this clip, wherever the playhead is, I'm going to hit W. So we have Q to cut before the playhead, and we have W to cut after the playhead. And keep in mind, you don't actually have to add markers, but they are good reference points. And I like that there, so I'm going to go ahead and hit W on the keyboard again, because it's going to cut all the footage after the playhead. Now if I want to jump to the beginning of my scene, I'm just going to hit the up arrow key on the keyboard and that's going to jump edit per edit and we can go ahead and watch our scene play out in full by just hitting spacebar on the keyboard. All right, so that's starting to come together, and that concludes our tutorial on cutting and trimming clips within our timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Please check back for more tutorials, and everybody have a great day.